What's up, Raider Nation? Elders Bell back with another edition of Let It Rip Sports Show. And we're going to preview the Steelers versus the Oakland Raiders. Huge, huge matchup. But once again, I'm going to give credit to the Raiders for pulling out a great victory against New York Jets and uh, moving into the wild card spot, having a record of 4-3, and three, being relevant in the month of November for the first time since 2010. So kudos again to my Raiders. Now, let's get into... Uh, the Steelers versus the uh, Raiders. And, I, and to be honest with you, I'm a lot more worried about this game than I was against the New York Jets game because the New York Jets, they were, go they were going in 4-2 and two and they didn't have much to lose in that game. I mean, obviously, you, every week you want to win, but I don't feel like they're, good, they're as desperate as the uh, uh, Pittsburgh Steelers. The Pittsburgh Steelers, they lost a, a crucial game against the Cincinnati Bengals. It was close. Big Ben was rusty, threw a couple of picks, um, but they lost in the, in the, um, at the end of the game. And they, they are, they're, they're coming in 4-4, four and four, and they really can't afford to go 4-5 and five in this playoff race for the wild card. So they have they they really have to win this game. And I feel like there's nothing more dangerous than a desperate team because they're going to be giving their all. So I'm really nervous in that regard, but I, I do feel confident that this can be a competitive game. I, I feel confident in this team pulling it out. But I'm just I'm just nervous. I'm nervous. But I'm still going to say we win. I'm still going to say we're going to win. Don't, don't, don't fear, Raider Nation. I'm here. I'm here. Now, let's get to the issue at hand. What do the Raiders need to do? And I'm going to talk about the defense first because uh, the defense has been kind of much maligned, but they have come on in recent weeks. Give credit to Ken Norton Jr. for making adjustments and being flexible to what his players uh, do well as opposed to saying, no, you're going to do run this scheme the way I devise it. So kudos to him because a lot of coaches, believe it or not, on all levels don't do that. So kudos to him and uh, being flexible. Um one thing we, I feel honestly, we 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 have to shut down Martavius Bryant first. I mean, because people are gonna say, oh, you know, you gotta watch out for Antonio Brown. Don't get me wrong, Antonio Brown was a great receiver. No, don't get me wrong, but I feel that Martavius Bryant's height and his big playability. I mean, I, I just I, I fear him more, um, because he makes more of those ridiculous play plays. Um, also, his height plays a huge a huge. Uh, difference maker in games so that's why i would i feel that I, we, we need to contain him more we can't let him run free because he has great speed uh great leaping ability um and that great run after the catch as you saw in his first game back from suspension so i think we need to key on him and obviously uh antonio brown for obvious reasons i mean he's one of the best receivers in the game so dj hayden david amerson um all the dbs all the uh safety tj carey Charles Woodson, they have to be on their P's and Q's. Uh, it's it's going to be a great matchup. Um, I don't expect Big Ben to have the same uh, rusty performance where he's throwing ill-advised uh, throws, to, throws to receivers. I think he'll be uh, he, he'll have two weeks of practice now, so I think he'll be uh, somewhat more dialed in. Uh, so the, the cornerbacks have to hold up. Um, also, defensive line. I don't – for with Big Ben – I don't feel like we should always pressure him. I feel like we should stay in our lane and tackle. Because one thing that, and everybody knows this, Big Ben is a master at uh, uh, extending plays with his, uh, his uh, mobility inside the pocket. So I feel that if we get a hold of Big Ben, we have to tackle him because he's a very strong dude and a lot of, a lot of players bounce off of him. So uh, rush smartly, stay in your lanes, and if you get a hand on him, make sure he goes to the ground. The quarterback must go down, and he must go down hard. Great quote, by the way. Uh, so, could, uh, so, so the defensive line has to be has to have have its best game of the season so far. Obviously, the cornerbacks have to be good. And another guy, um, it's the second. It's a, I know we're ranked second in the in the league in terms of rush defense, but let's not sleep on um, D'Angelo Williams. I think he was a, a sneaky pickup by the by the Steelers because he's not really a backup player. He's actually a starter a starter starter caliber player. Um, He's averaging 4.9 yards a carry, which is the same average that Le'Veon Bell was averaging before he went out with a with a knee injury for the rest of the year. So let's not sleep and let's say, oh, we, we got an easy uh, test in terms of uh, stopping the run because D'Angelo Williams is very capable and he was very very good when uh, D'Angelo when uh, Le'Veon Bell was uh, suspended for two games. So let's not sleep on him. We have to contain him as well. Hopefully, we can have the same effort that we did against Chris Ivory uh, the, in the previous week. So. That's another thing. And another another guy who who was who, 
he's just the model. He's Mr. Consistency, and that's Heath Miller. He had a great game against the uh, Cincinnati Bengals. I believe I believe he had over 100 yards, a touchdown, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I know we hadn't had trouble with tight ends in previous weeks, but this, this this seems like one of those situations where he's always he always finds a way to get open against top tier talent. So let's be let's be mindful of him. Keep him in check. Um, hit bit Ben often and hard. And that's what really the game plan that you have to do against uh, uh against this uh, Pittsburgh Steelers offense that was very explosive before Big Ben got hurt. Now let's talk about <clears throat> excuse me let's talk about what the Raiders on the offense have to do. And honestly, they have to employ the same game plan game plan that they did last week. Be consistent on offense and be well balanced. Uh, run Latavius Murray. Uh, run him consistently. Don't abandon, don't abandon the run. Uh, incorporate Tywan Jones as a great change of pace back. Um, maybe get Roy Halu there on some third and third and longs, but I say run the ball, get, uh, control the clock and let's grind this one out. And let's not, let's keep the ball away from that dynamic offense. That's what I think we should do. Obviously, um, a lot of people say, oh, the, 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 uh, the Steelers defense isn't that good anymore. I mean, they're, they're kind of like our defense. They're, they were much maligned in the beginning part of the year. But as, uh, as weeks go on, as weeks have progressed, they have been, they have, they have become a lot better. They uh they they kind of stifled for most of the game the uh since any offense that's ranked in the top five so that that that's a huge test to how they how much they have grown that's a huge sign of how much they've grown so um give credit to that Steelers defense we gotta we gotta keep them um on their edges and not be predictable not not run too much not pass too much just be balanced obviously we want to get uh, Crabtree there and I said this in the last video we gotta incorporate more than um more than a uh, Crabtree and Amari Cooper in our offense because they're catching 80% of the passes. They did that last week against the Jets, incorporating Andre Holmes. Uh, Seth Roberts got there with a, a catch. Uh, Marcel Reese got a couple of touches. So if we can if we can continue to be, uh, if Derek Carr can continue to spread the ball around, because he, th he threw the ball to nine different receivers in the last game against the Jets, if he can do that, incorporate Seth, Seth Roberts more, and maybe let's, maybe hopefully we'll see Ross Treeter. Um, I don't know if he's healthy or he's just, if he's at that, just that far back in the uh, depth chart, but hopefully he can get some tick and spread the ball around. See if I, we can get our Walford there. I mean, he doesn't have a favorable matchup going against uh, Shazier, who is a great cover uh, linebacker in Timmons. But um, spread the ball around, uh, get Michael Rivera going, do 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 some two tight end sets. Um, I said, said Roberts already, Harad Streeter. Hopefully, uh, Andre Holmes. Hopefully, we can uh, get him. Uh, Get him involved two weeks two weeks in a row, and obviously Crabtree and, and Amari Cooper they got to get their touches. So we we have the potential to keep this game in our favor and control the clock. Uh, hopefully Bill Musgraves has a great game plan. Hopefully he's more balanced. He's he's as balanced as he was last week. And if we do those things, we can beat this Steelers team that is desperate for a win. Uh, Derek Carr's got to have another great game. He's got to play lights out. Um, it'd be great if he has four or five touchdowns. Um, but if he has two or three and no interceptions, that's money as well. Defense, Pete, gotta you gotta be, play lights out, which I think they will. And one thing I'm curious about, Sebastian Janikowski, when he gets when you get field goals, you uh, field goal opportunities, you gotta make those field goals, especially the ones that are makeable with a leg that that is as strong as yours. So uh, I, I I'm not. I'm I'm not as easy on on uh, Sebastian Janikowski because he has a great leg as as opposed to other uh, kickers. Where if they miss a forty eight yarder, okay, I say okay, that's a little long. But when you got a cannon for a left leg, you got to make those, baby. And he's and he's made um, big time uh, kicks. So hopefully he can be more consistent for two weeks in a row now. And that's really all I have to say about this matchup. It's going to be a great game. Uh, Raider Nation or or fans of the show, please let me know what you think. Do you think the Raiders have a great chance against this game in this game against the Steelers, or do you think this is one of those situations where the t the Steelers are too desperate and they have to have this game and we don't have a chance? How do you think we match up against the Steelers? Let me know. Let me know your thoughts. Leave comments and/or suggestions. And please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Letter Sports Show, if you already haven't. Thanks again for watching, boys and girls. Go Raiders, and let's go get this victory.